Hey everyone, what's up today? I'm going to be trying out the soap brows because I've seen a lot of people do it and I just wanted to see how it would work on my brows. Um, I do have it on today, but I just kind of wanted to show you guys how I did it. I got this for $14 at the Luxaton retail store and I was going to get it in Sephora because I don't think Ulta has it and I just figured why not just go into the normal store. I also use this to clean off my beauty blenders and my brushes. It's very hydrating on my beauty blenders and my brushes. So I just figured why not go ahead and just try it out. I did film this makeup look. I did a chatty get ready with me because I wanted to kind of update you guys on a few things. But that would have already been up by the time this video is up. So I'm taking the brow gal brush. You can always wash your spoolies with just soap and water if you want to. Um, if it starts to get gunky from doing this process. Let's see, I like using this Mario Badescu facial aloe spray. So I'm just gonna spritz it like maybe twice. Like that. And then after you do that, you just want to take your brush your spoolie brush and just kind of like work it in just like that and I really don't care like how much product I get on there so then I just take the spoolie and run it through my brows you want to make sure that you dampen the soap just so it gets a little tacky this is just what I did for my brows um, your brows might be different you might have longer hairs shorter hairs so, of course, not everyone is going to do their brows the same. As usual, you guys know that I always use my Pro Concealer to kind of carve out my brows. I just take this and I kind of estimate where I want my brows to start and where I want them to end. So, I just stay within the frame of the concealer. I'm going to take my Anastasia um, Brow Powder Duo in the shade Ebony, I believe. And I'm also taking this brush. This is the Get In Shape Lab beauty brush and you can also use it for liner but so I just like to kind of outline it tap the powder where I plan on outlining the brow and then I'm just gonna tap it right on top of the just the brow okay so I did that and as you guys can see I did mess up a little bit right here so I'm just going to go ahead and clean it up with my concealer and just like that it's completely fixed so I'm going to go ahead and just speed up this process so you guys don't have to kind of watch it. Overall, I don't really feel the need to go into my whole brow with the brow whiz. So I just saved a bunch of time. It looks super natural and you can even make it more feathery if you want to but that is just how i did my brows and it looks really really natural depending on how much product you put in i definitely recommend to put um a little less because less is always more and if you just want that super natural look that's what you have to do to get it and it was pretty simple like i said this soap was only 14 dollars I know that not everyone can afford a $14 bar of soap, but for me, I use it to clean my beauty blenders, my brushes, everything like that, so it just was kind of convenient that I used this particular one. I like the way that it hydrates my beauty blenders, like I said before, and I really like how it makes my brushes feel. And on top of that, it works for soap brows, so I'm getting like three different uses out of it. There's like nothing really wrong with the soap after you use it or wet it, it just kind of dries up on its own. So yeah, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you found it helpful. I do definitely feel like this is a method that I'm going to be using a lot often because I don't like using a lot of product on my brows and I basically only had to use powder and then touch up with the brow was in certain areas that were super, super sparse that the um, powder had nothing to cling to. So that's pretty much it. I love you guys so, so much. I hope that this was helpful for you and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.